congratulations on your interest in applying to the University of California. Filling out your UC application can seem a little overwhelming, but this video will guide you through a step-by-step -step process to help you see that it isn't as daunting as it seems. It's a good idea to have everything prepared before you start your application so you're not trying to track down information at the last minute. Read the What You Will Need section so you know what information you will need. So let's get started. Let's go to universityofcalifornia.edu forward slash apply and click on the apply now link on the top right hand side. Click create a new account and type in your email address and password. You'll be asked to re-enter your email address and password and you'll also be asked a secret question and an answer to that question. You don't have to fill out all of your application in one sitting so make sure you save your email and password somewhere safe so you can log in at a later time if needed. A notice will pop up. Read it and click on continue. Now that we're signed in, we can get started on the application. You'll need to enter some basic information. Your name, whether or not you've used other names on documents, and when and where you were born. On this next page, you'll select what semester you're applying for, and we're applying for fall 2013. And you'll also select what you're applying as. We'll be applying as freshmen, so let's select that and hit next. A pop-up screen will appear confirming that you are applying as a freshman. Just click on the I am a freshman option and it'll take you to the next page. Every time you hit next, the application will automatically save. If you don't fully complete all the information they're asking of you, the website won't let you move on to the next page. So the next page is some basic information. You'll need to input your mailing address and phone number along with an alternate number. When you hit next, you'll get a warning message saying your address has not been saved. You'll need to confirm your mailing address and we'll go ahead onto the next page. This page asks you about your California residency. You'll have to put how long you've lived in California. They ask you this to determine whether or not you'll pay in-state or out-of-state tuition. Special note, if you are applying as a student graduating from Sherman Indian High School, you automatically qualify as a California resident. So please mark California. The next page asks you for your country of citizenship and a social security number if you have one. On this next page, you'll select which campuses you'd like to apply to. For the UCs, this single application will be sent to all the UCs you choose to apply to. You can apply to as few as one or apply to all nine campuses at once. There's a $70 fee per campus, but the UCs offer a fee waiver for up to four campuses for qualified students. So if you qualify for this waiver, make sure you apply to four campuses. It is recommended that you diversify your campus selections based upon selectivity. This next page may look a little complicated, but will help guide you through it. You'll need to select your primary major or majors and an alternate. Each UC campus is broken up into a couple of different schools, so click through the different schools to find your major of choice. It is recommended that you apply for your REACH major like Engineering or Biological Sciences and undecided or undeclared as your alternative major. If you hover over a major, there will be a description of the major that you can read if you'd like. When you've completed a section of the application, you'll get the opportunity to review your section and then you can move on. This next section is the scholarship section. Check any of the boxes that apply to you. You can pick up to 16 sections. This is an easy opportunity to apply for scholarships, all by just clicking a few boxes, so don't miss an opportunity for free money. A list of recommended scholarships is available for you at www.airp.uci.edu. You'll get the section review, so let's go ahead and click next. This next section is about you. It just asks for some basic information. You'll be asked what language you learned to speak first and if you have any U.S. military service. You'll also be asked if you've ever been in foster care. Lastly, you'll see the EOP section. EOP is the Educational Opportunity Program. If you look at the top right-hand section, you see a What is EOP link. If you click on it, it gives you a description of the program. If you're from a disadvantaged background, a first-generation college student, or American Indian, you qualify for this program. EOP provides helpful programs like free tutoring and a few other great opportunities, 
so make sure you click that box if you think you qualify. You'll just need to fill out a box that asks for additional information and you're good to go. This next page asks about your parent or guardian information. Select what they do in the job category and input their current and previous job titles along with the number of years in those jobs. Then you'll select what their highest level of education was. Go ahead and click Next. These next sections just ask for some more personal information. If you get stuck on a question, contact any of the UCI GRA campus representatives. The Family Size and Income section is really important because it will determine whether or not you qualify for the application fee waiver. The initial information you input is what determines whether or not you qualify, so make sure you put the right information in the first time. You get the review section once again, and then we move on. Our next section is Academic History. Read the introduction page and click Next. On this page, you'll enter your A through G courses. They'll ask you for advanced classes in math and language other than English in 7th and 8th grade. If you have them, add them in. If not, leave them blank. At the bottom of the screen, you'll be asked if you had an international experience. If you did not attend a school outside of the U.S. from grade 6 through 8, click No and move on to the next page. In this section, you'll be asked to enter all the high schools you've attended. The first question is where you attended high school. If this was in California, click that option. If you know your school code, you can input it. If not, you can type in your high school name. It'll ask you for additional information, including what grades you attended there, whether or not you graduated from there, and what your school's term system was. Most schools are semester or quarter based, so just click the box that pertains to you. You can add another high school, and then you can add all of your A through G classes along with the grade that you received in the class. You'll have to input your courses for every grade level. And at the bottom of the page, you can also add courses that aren't listed above. When you reach senior year, you'll put your courses that are in progress and the ones you plan on taking. On the next page, you'll be asked if you took any college courses while you were in high school. If you click yes, you'll need to click where your college was along with the school code or school name. You'll also be asked when you attended this college and what their grade system was. When you're done, click add this. Click next and add any classes you took along with the grade you received and what course category the class fits into. Go ahead and click Next when you're done. Below this, you'll see an additional comment section. This is optional, but if you have a class or a grade that you feel needs to be explained, you can type in your explanation here. You'll see the review page. Look over your academic history and click Next. Our next section is Activities and Awards. This first page is an introduction. Go ahead and click Next. Don't be modest here. Be sure to add descriptions to highlight anything that demonstrates your leadership abilities. This is important to share with the person reading your application. You can add classes that aren't A through G coursework here. You can also add any educational preparation programs that you were a part of, volunteer and community service experience, work experience, awards and honors, and extracurricular activities. These can include ceremonial or traditional leadership roles. They'll ask for some basic information about each category. Once we review this section, we're on to test scores. You can only enter one score for each test you took. So if you took a test more than once, make sure you input your highest score. If you're taking a test again, you can input a future test date here as well. A reminder will pop up asking you to send in your official test scores. Your application will not be complete until you send in your official scores. If you took your SAT subject test, you'll add them on this page. You can also add your AP test scores along with the dates of when you took the exams. On this page, you can add international baccalaureate classes if you took any. This page asks for test scores if you took classes in a language other than English. This most probably does not apply to you, so go ahead and click Next. We review our section, and next is the personal statement. This first page is directions. It gives helpful information and tips, so make sure you read and review this page. In these sections, you can input your essay answers. Make sure you spell check them in a program like Word and have someone review them for you. 
it always helps to have a second pair of eyes on these essays. Start off by introducing yourself to the reader with your name, tribe, tribal location, and clans. Be sure to answer the basic questions of who you are, where you're from, why are you unique, and what do you have to contribute to the University of California. There's also an optional additional comment section, so if you feel you need to add something important that wasn't asked in the essays, go ahead and add that here. Last of all, we get to the Submit and Review page. You can go over and return to edit sections of your application. These green circles on the right will tell you whether or not a section is complete or in progress. Once you review your application, click on Start Submission Process. You'll see a completeness check. Go ahead and hit Next. You'll be asked some questions about your gender, ethnicity, and racial background. Click American Indian and hit Next. You'll then be asked to select your ethnicity. Click American Indian again. You'll be asked if you're federally or state recognized. If you're federally recognized, input your tribal affiliation and enrollment number. Click Next. Fill out the affidavit and hit Next. In this last section, you can either pay for your application or apply for the fee waiver. You'll be asked to confirm your submission. Click Yes and then click on Submit Application for UC Admission. After you submit your application, notify Nakishna Polikaptua at AIRP at UCI.edu so that he can be on the lookout for your application.